Hey everyone, uh, George here. I wanted to share with you guys a project that my father and I did about two to three years ago now. This is a Volkswagen trike. Um, we started with pretty much nothing when we first started building this. Um, the reason we did build it is we all have motorcycles in my family. We all love to ride. But my folks have custody of two twin little girls. And they're really not at the age where you can safely put them on the back of a regular motorcycle. Um, so we said, well, why don't we build a trike? We've always been in the Volkswagens. So in one winter, um, we built a Volkswagen trike. Um, the frame was already cut. So we actually wished it would have been cut a little further ahead, ahead of the tunnel, but it wasn't. Um, it did not look like this when we first had it done. It was just black, covered in wood. Um, and then I slowly worked on it a little bit each season in the winter. Um, this passenger seat is an old Jeep seat. We cut it. We stretched it out. Uh, can fit two full-size adults and a kid, no problem. It does have seat belts. Fenders from, um, that we picked up at a local uh, trailer supply. Cut them down. Um, as you can see, I've obviously accented everything with diamond plate. Still got a lot of work to do. Um, it has, I believe, seven inch wide wheels, uh, used uh, adapters, um, brand new drums, you know, brake shoes, everything's been gone through, brake lines. <clears throat> the front end of, of this um, is a little small for it. I may change it out, haven't decided, but the front end is off a 1974 RD350. So it's a little bit lighter, but at the time that's all we had. It does work well. Um, we kept everything foot control. There's your clutch. And then we have our gas. And our brake, which comes back to a reservoir here. Wasn't enough clearance up front to mount it. Uh, used a little innovation. It works great. Um, this seat happens to be off a of Honda Goldwing. Um, it flips up. Allowed to be out of the way. <clears throat> Ignition, uh, 12 volt. Uh, now, uh, we also put a uh, just another form of a kill switch. Um, 12 volt cigarette lighter. Um, small radio with handlebar mounted. Speakers. Um, we also have a mount for a GPS. Not a bad setup at all. Very, very reliable. Um, when we built this, I kept in mind, you know, if I had to work on this on the side of the road, could I? You know, if I needed to change a clutch cable or a throttle cable. Um, this front end cap pops off. I can access everything. Uh, this seat is held on. I doubt you can see it, but one nut in the front on a bolt, and then you just pull a pin in the back. Um, and that whole seat can come off. No problems whatsoever. Um, this gas tank used to be a <laughs> homemade water tank. Um, we converted that and just made it into a gas tank for now. Um, works great. Not the prettiest. Stainless. Does work. Um, we made a little engine shroud just in case you were out in the rain. Um, is all that is. Um, bought the... Uh, cage that you can buy for Vol Baja Volkswagens. Took a little bit of modifications to make it work, but on no problem. Uh, three inch chromed exhaust. It's a 1600 cc single port uh, engine. Runs like a charm. Completely rebuilt from the block up. It's kind of in, tucked away for the winter. Hard to see, but uh, one thing I do plan on doing this this winter with it is putting uh, electronic ignition in it. Um, we have hooked up. I've added wiring and a ball mount. I built a nice custom trailer um, for it to haul behind it. I used a car carrier uh, mounted to a small Harbor Freights uh, trailer that you can buy. Um, I painted it blue to match with the diamond plate accenting. Um, that was great. It's 
So just wanted to kind of show it to you guys. Um, I will get some more video of it running. And uh, any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I will be adding some pictures of what we started with. Um, if I would have been smarter, I would have kind of kept a video diary through the whole build. But I didn't, so I will show some pictures of just to show you what we started with and how far it has come. So I hope you guys all enjoy, and um, this is just some of my toys out here in the garage. Um, and you guys will just rate and subscribe. Any questions, uh, feel free to, to shoot me a PM. Um, any other videos you'd like to see, uh, just take and let me know.